Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a dyeing video. I'm going to be dyeing these items that are here. So we have a hat, we have a pair of hip briefs, and we have white jock straps, which I thought might be fun to dye different colors. So we have some colors here from the Dylon, green, red, and then we have the salt as well, which is by Dylon, so it's all pre-done. I actually have them split into some containers here as well, so we need some bowls. And then for the bigger items, I do have a bucket. So I didn't have anything else, but we're gonna use this bucket and see what happens. Now, I'm gonna start with the hat first, I think. And it says to just make sure it's wet. So I'm just gonna dip it in and hope for the best. So the next step is to pick which powder you want. I'm gonna go with red first and see what happens. I thought I would just pre-do it. So it's all mixed now. You can see it's very vibrant pinky red. So here we go, we're gonna stir this in. So I do want to add in a jock strap as well. Now, I really like the color orange, so I thought, uh, why not? Also, while uploading this, the Pride Collection of jock straps just got released, which I was thinking there is no color jock straps, so I would make my own. Uh, now I'm mistaken. Next up is the hip brief. And that goes as well. Wow. Neon. How awesome. Okay, guys, so this is the end of the video part. But, like, it's like 1.40, well, 1.50 in the morning. And um, I'm tired. My room's a mess. Real talk. You know, not a professional setup. But I'm going to show you the results of me dyeing my jock straps, a pair of hip briefs, and a hat. So we're gonna start with the best ones, in my opinion, which was this hat. This used to be white, uh, and it took really well to the dye, and it went for a really nice red. I've done this before Canada. I actually didn't even wear it in Canada, but like the detail of it looks pretty good. It looks great on as well. So there you go, your boy has a hat change. And then, yeah. That's pretty much that one. Then the jock strap we have here. Now this one came out really well. Now, this one is the red, but it made all the white pink, which is kind of cool, I guess. But it's a very, it looks very Valentine's Day, kind of jock strappy. And I'm gonna insert a clip of me wearing this for you guys. But you can see everything else took really well to the dye. It's a real cherry raspberry kind of red. I like, I like the front pouch, but I'm not really a big fan of the band. The band looks like it's faded, like you've washed it a lot. But overall, it, that one was better than the next one. So we're gonna start off with the hip brief because the hip brief, I think, came out really well. Now I've done this on 100% cotton. So uh, this is the orange one. Now I done this in the body review video like ages ago and this was white you can actually see it doesn't take to any of the stitching because the stitching is like synthetic and it's not going to actually take any dye yeah, as you can see it's like this orange really dark like rusty orange to be fair i thought it'd be a lot nicer if you want to recycle some uh clothes or anything the orange one comes out really well now the jock strap i think i let down because i didn't mix it properly you're supposed to like move it around and mix but i didn't do that with this one so that's what the orange one looks like nice but then the band is very splotchy it looks like some girl has just got fake tan all over it and it looks horrible so this was a fail which this one actually looks really good like i 10 out of 10 love this one but this one looks skanky as af like it looks like someone's literally just got their fake tan done and just wipes their hands all over you. It looks horrible. So uh, that is the jock straps and the brief. But that's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think about dyeing and repurposing like white or dull kind of down colors and making them new and fun again. What did you think of this video? I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment down below what you thought. Uh, subscribe for more content. Make sure to smash that like button for more fun content like this. And I will talk to you next time. I hope you guys are having an awesome day wherever you may be. And until next time, bye bye.
So the video you're just watching has just ended, but don't worry, you can go watch one of my old videos right here, or you can go and subscribe right here, and be notified when my next video comes out so you don't have to miss any of the action. So thank you, and goodbye.